square swipe detection, hexagon swipe detection, whatever swipe detection. All right, we have this uh, board of a square, and you can see that when I start touching this object and go a little bit farther and enter to the detection area, we have this detection in here, the details in here. 270 is the main degree. We have uh, swiped top, and we have this found next object in the parentheses, the UID of the founded object, okay? So it works for any uh, block. I click in here, and you can work around with this and have fun and learn more okay let's go to the next page for hexagons and this is just like the squares but the hexagons have uh six sides and you can see that the details in here and you can have this source file from our website link is in the description and uh it's free to use work around have fun with it and learn more okay so before going to the next part of this video which is showing the codes i need to show some slides all right in construct uh, we use degrees and for example we have this object and the center point is in here the default degree is zero and when we rotate it and go to this side you can see that it shows us the degree is 90 degrees okay and uh it, it works like clockwise way, okay? So, in the next slide, you can see that, uh, let me explain for you. This is our uh, main square that we touch. And um, in here, for detecting the swipe, we need to have two positions to get the angle between that two position to know which side we are swiping, okay? So, the first position is the, uh, is the uh, center of the object or origin of the object. So when we click, we save the first position. And the second position is the touch or mouse's position, okay? So in here, in the code I wrote, uh, we need to get the angle between these positions and when the angle was between these two minus 45 or 315 and 45 then we uh, swipe to the right side okay and when uh, when our angle was between 45 and 135 we swipe to the bottom side okay and so on for the other sides and we uh, we actually add the uh, angles in the code and uh, tell the program to print uh, which side we are in. Okay, so this is it. This is the explanation. Let's go to the codes. All right, we have this project file of construct three, and you can see that we have two layouts that uh, that follow this one event sheet. Okay, let's go into the event sheet. All right. In the first group, which is about squares, you can see that when we start touching in a square, we save its UID and we save our first position, which is a squares X and a squares Y, okay? So here we save the first position and then we change uh, the squares color and, uh, and start its uh, sign animation, okay? And in here you can see that when we are still uh, touching and when our distance between the first position which is this and the second position which is touches position was bigger than this variable which is 60 so the distance between this position was bigger than 60 then we start detecting the swipe okay so if the angle between this position, first position and the second position was between minus 45 and 45, then we detected that we are swiping to right, okay? Else, if it was between these two position, we uh, swipe to bottom and so on for the other sides, okay? 
and you can work around with this code and do it for any shape you want. So I added for scores and hexagons. Okay, and in here you can see that we uh, pick an object that is on that is uh, overlapping this position. I use this cosinus and uh, distance. Okay, so it it will be our first position, the degree and the distance that need to go. Okay, so if it uh, if any object uh, except the click it one uh, was overlapping this position that I wrote in here, then it's uh, found as next object and we print this uh, text to uh, know that we have found it, okay? So, in here you can see that if our distance between the two positions wasn't uh, bigger than 60, then we print that not detected, okay? So in here, after touch end, we reset everything for uh, doing the next uh, next action and next swipe, okay? So this is for, uh, this is for S squares, and in here for hexagons, we did just like S squares, but for six sides, okay? We did it for different angles, 0, 60, and 60 120 and so on okay just like it but different angles and you can add it for any shape you want and that's it have fun with it source file is available for downloading from our website link is in the description and uh, my discord channel my discord server is on please join it and ask your questions have fun